Hey guys, welcome back to the channel today. So today we're going to be fitting up the snug top finally after this massive weight. Um, so last night to save a bit of time, I ended up pulling the bed rug out and just got it out, um, put it underneath the carport so I can start uh, washing it. Um, and then we'll, uh, I've got the truck sitting in the sun right now, let the bed warm up. So that way all the sealants and stuff will um, stick. And um, yeah, so basically I've got some sticker flex, I got some um, heavy duty duct tape, like industrial strength duct tape, the gnarly stuff that you really can't peel off, basically to cover up a bunch of the holes. Um, some of the ones that I, I can't obviously fill with sticker flex and the ones that I can't put the plugs in. So I do have some plugs. I'll show you guys in a minute most of the stuff that I'm gonna use to fit this canopy up today. So, All right guys, so we've had the uh, bed rug all washed. It's out in the sun right now drying. So some of the stuff you're going to need for this install is a uh, sticker flex, some uh, tape, heavy duty 3M so. tape. Also a good thing to go and buy before you do this is buy one of these grommet sets. So it's a bunch of different size grommets. As you can see I've put in a couple just here, I'll put some in just there. And they're just basically a, a rubber plug that you can um, fill these holes in with. So I'll just show you guys some of the um, the biggest size holes that are in the tub here. Um, so we've got this one just here. And that's like a giant cavity. And that goes straight down underneath the tub. And that's where all your dust circulates and comes up through that hole. So we've got that one. Got these gaps down here. And that's where all the dirt's coming in, so we just need to clean those gaps up nice with the uh, rags and stuff, and then run the bead of um, sticker flex along that. Sticker flex, automotive sticker flex is really good because it flexes and stuff and it won't crack, and all the rest of it's designed to hold your windows in, so that's a really good sealant too. So, And then up underneath here, You guys can see that hole there, so they run all the way along where this top plate clips on. So and then um yeah, probably put a piece of tape over that hole or something because the bedrug is going to be in here anyway, so you won't see so it. Any so. of these holes here, um, that's a thread, so you don't need to fill that one up. This one down here, this one here. So that's obviously I'll just put that one in there. But as you notice, like some of the edges don't quite fit, so you just. Just use your uh, removal tool to make sure it's nice and flush and that that's actually seating in that little bead. Um, I'll try and find another one if I can find it. So just here you can see that little um, little bead that'll sit in on the inside of this hole here. Alright guys, I've just got some wax and grease remover. I'm just going to wipe up these couple of holes up in there, just wipe them down because I don't have enough of these plugs so I'm just going to wipe these ones down, these are on the inside of the bed rug anyway so these will be getting um, just taped up with this heavy duty 3M construction tape, so heavy duty duct tape so I'll just be cutting a patch out, putting it over that hole, this hole and that seam there and then I'll run a bead of the uh, sticker flex up along the gap there Alright guys, so I have left, I've left four holes, I've left one up the front on this side, driver's side, and I've left two down the back here as well as you can see just there, just so any water that does accidentally get inside there can actually escape otherwise it's just going to sit in there, so I've just got four holes in each corner so that should be enough, everything else has been siliconed up, and I've put tape up through along all the holes that run along there for that industrial tape so all I've got to do now is I've got a couple of big holes at the front corners I'll give you a look so if you can see just in there where my fingers going back it actually comes back into the tub on the inside so I've just got to stick a rag um, in there and I'll alright guys so I've got the canopy here so this is um, 
how it comes all boxed and crated up so I'm sure if you guys watched the last video when I received it so it's basically all all boxed and framed up there's a Raptor for the Raptor fans so I basically just had it tied because we had some gnarly winds the other day had it tied to the uh, carport I'm just gonna now show you guys inside I'm not sure you can see it's very pretty dark but um there we go Back window, the light. I've got the uh, pet mesh sliding, sliding windows, and obviously the uh, the front window there. That one's not tinted, but the sides are tinted. So I'm keen to uh, see about that as well, and make sure that the tint on the back is the same as what's on the cab. Otherwise, we'll have to get that done too. So, alright, guys. So we've got the uh, tubs all done now. It's all prepped. Got the um canopy here it's taken me about half an hour to get this box off had to use the uh, the sawzall and that to get the uh, the crate off the box so they, they pack it pretty well but um, that's what you can expect when you order your snug top so it's all nicely packaged and wrapped <laughs> God, it looks it looks sick I'm pretty happy so That's the uh, side window there, so the tint's actually not that dark, so I might have to get the chick that did my truck, I'll get her to uh, to tint this as well, but um, no, I'm definitely happy. Doesn't look like there's any damage or anything, so. Very cool. Let's uh, finish unboxing this bad boy and we'll uh, yeah, get the rest of the stuff in and then we'll probably lift this on tomorrow morning, so. Hey guys, so it's getting pretty late here now. I, um, I had to do a bunch of stuff this afternoon, um, so I had to kind of get off the truck from what I was doing, but um, we'll give you a quick rundown. Hopefully the lighting's not too bad when we walk outside, but um, because it is dark now, but I'll come back to this in the morning, so. Basically got the, uh, got the deck system back in. Um, I've just got to put the drawers in and bolt it down, but the bed rug's back in, it's all washed and clean now, so... I just wanted to smash this out and just get it done tonight, so that way first thing in the morning we can um, fit the canopy, so... That'll be it for tonight, guys. I'm going to have a few uh, brewskis and, um, yeah, get back to uh, mounting this thing in the morning, so... Morning, guys. Well, last night I was just running around like crazy trying to get the... Uh, deck system and that fitted back into the truck I didn't get everything done um, I got majority of it put back together we just had a freak storm coming and it, it started getting a bit windy and wild and um, yeah I just had to uh, set the camera down and try and get that stuff done so it is the next day so um, snug tops all unboxed as you can see there And we have the deck system back in the truck. So I'm just going to pull the truck forward now. And just going to finish the rest of the deck system. Putting the rollers and stuff on the, um, the drawers and that. That I didn't get to do last night. I just wanted to get the truck underneath the cover. And stop the uh, moisture and the rain from getting back into the tub. After I just spent yesterday trying to dry it and clean it and all the rest of it. So we'll go ahead and do that now. And um, yeah, we'll get this thing out and get this snug top on.
that was stressful. What I'm going to do now, guys, I'm just going to... Um, obviously, it's still got the timber under there. So that was kind of the, the best way I could pick it up. I left the timber supports that kind of come standard underneath it there to lift it up with the forks and sit it on there. Now what I can do is I can climb inside and I can push it up with the roof once I undo those. All right, guys, well, snug top is in. We, uh, me and the missus just pulled this timber bracing out and lowered it down. Now we've just got some um, brackets and stuff to put through. They have pre-drilled holes just here and a bracket that wraps around the edge of the tub to uh, hold it down. I'm super glad that I went with the pet mesh. And it's got the, uh, the mozzie mesh in behind it as well. Just so that way when my daughter sleeps in the back, she's uh, all safe from the bugs. So we'll go ahead now and get this all bolted down and um, show you guys where the bolts go through and stuff. So guys, this bolt here, simply put your washer on there. And then there's the edge that runs along here. Basically that little clip there goes underneath that and just pulls it down. And you just screw it down to the tub. It's pretty much that simple. So guys, the way the deck system works is it um, anchors with some rods they go down to your factory tie downs um, in the rear and then they give you some different tie down points for the front um, that you have to take your factory ones out and bolt them ones in and then it just it ties down in each four corners so that's how the deck system is mounted and then you've just got some um, of these caps here you can simply just snap in straight over the top so they're nice um, if you don't have a canopy or anything, these aren't waterproof. So you can just put like, ropes or straps and things like that. Things that doesn't really matter if they get wet or whatever. So I'm just going to use mine to, to just house some straps and things in case I have to tie something down inside the canopy. Alright guys, i got the uh, drawers all back in now. So they uh, close sweet. Got the ball, the, uh, ball bearing rollers back on. So very happy got all this in now. All I've got to do is uh, when ARB hooked up this little power spot here at the back for me with the 12 volt plugs. It's got two 12 volt plugs there, one for the fridge and one to just to charge the camera and stuff like that. I've um, got a little voltmeter here. I actually, they didn't put an Anderson plug in, so um, I kind of forgot to tell them about that. So I put this Anderson plug on this end the other day when I removed everything. Now I've just got to um, splice these wires and um, put this other Anderson plug here that I've got on so that way if I ever need to remove the draw system I can simply unplug the power just from here and then this lead here this will eventually run up the side of the canopy up the roof and it'll be for the uh, the solar panel that'll be on top of the uh, the rooftop tent the bush company rooftop tent so that's what's going on with that lead there and it'll then charge back to the uh the main batteries and then i'll um, also get a, a power pack i think they're called tough packs they're basically an inverter and all that sort of stuff built into a case and i just have the case in here and that way when i change trucks i'm not pulling everything out of the old truck i simply just take this box with me it'll just be mounted up here somewhere in the canopy i'll take that box with me um, and put it in my new vehicle um, so that way I haven't got to buy another inverter and another solar charger and all that sort of stuff. It's all built into the one unit, so which is super handy and it just connects via Anderson plug. So anyway, guys, I think I might get I might get Ultra Pack in Newcastle to hook all this wiring up for me for the central locking for the window. Those guys do that every day. I've got to go there anyway and get them to fit the roof rails for the rooftop tent. So I might get them to hook all that up for me and the lighting. Um, for the retail light and stuff because the instructions to be honest aren't very good they're pretty basic and I don't really know where to hook the wires into because um, they've got they've got these wires here but there isn't really any description on what they're for so I know the blue and green ones are for the central locking that's fine that'll have to get ran down through the inside of the tub and back along the chassis rails 
to a um, one of the probably the passenger door or something but this one here it says it's a, something about a fuse box or something system so I don't really know whether these connect straight to the tail light like through the the wall of the tub here or whether they're for something completely different um, anyway I'll let them sort it out it's it's easier for me just to let them do that because I've got, like I said, I've got to go there anyway to get the roof rails fitted. And we're also going to look at another system to help support the weight of this rooftop tent. Because with the weight of me, the tent, um, the misses, and our bedding and stuff that's going to be up there, and the solar panels on top, I don't know if this canopy is going to take the weight. So there's a system you can get that actually bolts to the side, and they're like internal bars that run up, and they, they carry the weight across the roof and down the other side. To support the weight if you have any if you have a severe amount of weight up on top of the um the tent so we'll look at getting that as well but i'm going to go ahead now and splice this up get this all connected so that way i've got power back to the deck system and we'll uh, i'll come back to you in a minute all right guys i've just simply uh yeah fitted the uh, anderson plug up to that so if i ever need to now remove the drawers i'm all good to go so solar's wires just wrapped up in there until we um get everything else fitted up ready for, to go on that so you can see I've got power back now so running 12.6 volts in there so I should have 12 volts to both of these sockets now so yeah canopy's on looks fantastic guys I'll now go and get some uh, really nice shots of the truck with the uh, snug top extra vision canopy on the F250 <laughs> Alright guys, well that's snug top on and done, so I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See yous.